Y'all, it's 2022. Welcome to Unity. and sounds and taste can you feel it if you can then clap your hands don't you feel it if you feel it then stand up on your feet and you'll feel it hey we are gathered here from different walks of life leave your worries at the door and come inside we are welcome here troubles cast aside we are all as one as we sway from side to side oh. and i said welcome welcome to this moment in our world Welcome to our human revolution And we're born into the movement Can you feel it? If you can then clap your hands Can't you feel it? Come on, join us at home If you feel it Then stand up on your feet And you feel it Get off the couch, y'all hey, We are gathered here From different walks of life Leave your worries at the door and come inside. We are welcome here, troubles cast aside. We are all as one as we sway from side to side. I said welcome, oh welcome. Yeah, welcome to 2022, welcome. Welcome, I say welcome. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Wesley Baker, and I'm here to be your celebration assistant today. Uh, welcome to Unity on Greenville, where we practice the spiritual path to positive living. We have a few announcements. But we're going to start with Sandra making an announcement on our interim. Good morning, Unity on Greenville on 2022. Welcome today. I have a few announcements from our board of trustees. Uh, as we are between spiritual leadership, I think it's important to share some of the work that the board is doing. The board has begun meeting more often uh, because we wanna make sure that everything that we're doing is for you, our congregants, and for our beautiful church. All meetings begin and end with prayer. Uh, I think that's very important to know that uh, we do our work in a prayerful way. We love our church community and will continue uh, to do what, what we prayerfully feel is a very spiritual way of knowing and doing all the things that we need to do for our church community. We're gonna begin saying our affirmation for our new leadership uh, during our board meetings. And we are working with Unity Worldwide Ministries in a twofold uh, direction. Of course, we are looking for a permanent minister and that uh, search team is being led by LD Carter. But also the board recently made a decision to search for an interim minister. Uh, and that positive uh, path is what the board will be working on. Of course, we will always continue to provide updates. So today we affirm with divine wisdom and infinite love that the light of God is shining upon our path now. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sandra. If you'd like to receive our e-news, um, you can go to the website and sign up for our e-news, and you'll get the weekly updates, the midweek pause, um, and all the information of our church there. You can go to Let's Connect, DallasUnity.org. You can go to Sunday Resources About Us. You can sign up, um, and we can reach back out to you if you need spiritual counseling or help. If you'd like to donate to Unity on Greenville while you're there, we would love that. We uh, takes takes resources for us to continue to, to put our ministry on. Uh, you can see the uh, website on the on the screen. It's www.DallasUnity.org. Or you can send us a check via mail uh, to the address on the screen, Unity on Greenville, 3425 Unity, Greenville Avenue, Dallas, Texas, 75206. Now we'd like to say our offering blessing for the, the offerings that we have already received and the offerings that are on their way to us. Say the offering blessing with me. Divine love as me blesses and multiplies all that I have all that I give, and all that I receive. With gratitude, we commit to using our gifts for good. Now Donna will have our prayer. Good morning. My name is Dr. Kirby. I'm the prayer chaplain today. If you would like, call the chair. I will be in back of the sanctuary after the ceremony to pray with you. Let us pray. As we take a deep breath, we connect with the spirit within us. Sweet spirit. It is there that we find sanctuary, we find safety, love, because he is there. He, she is there. We are grateful for those who are with us in the sanctuary this morning and those virtually. And we send prayers and blessings and love to Reverend Karen Ramastan as she settles into her new beautiful life. And we send blessings to those who are struggling, perhaps with illness, perhaps mentally during this time, knowing that they are perfect just the way they are and God is taking care of them. And as we close, I would like to say that we are a family. A family at Unity on Greenville that is going to grow and prosper in so many different ways in 2022 with our God sweet spirit guiding us every step of the way. And so it is. Amen. So I invite you to go within and anchor in this moment in your breath. for a few minutes together, 
let us indeed welcome this moment, this holy sacred now. With every breath, just bringing us deeper into the awareness of the presence that is God. Allow your heartbeat to remind you that there's something far greater that not only created you, sustains you, but dances, lives, breathes, and moves as you. So with every breath, until you hear the sound of the bell again, welcome the moment. Welcome each breath. Welcome life. Breathing in, mm, all that grace, breathing out in gratitude. With every breath, say, hello, life. Hello, God. Hello, sweet spirit. Hello this holy now. See clearly now the rain is gone I can see all obstacles in my way Gone all the dark clouds that had me blind It's gonna be a bright, bright sunshiny day yes I can make it now the pain is gone all of the bad feelings have disappeared yeah here is the rainbow I've been Praying for 
It's gonna be a bright, oh bright, sunshiny day. Look all around, there's nothing but blue skies. Look straight ahead, nothing but blue skies. Ooh, 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 nothing but blue, blue, blue skies. can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all obstacles in my way Here is the rainbow I've been praying for It's gonna be a bright, gonna be a bright sunshiny day yes it's gonna be a bright sunshiny day and it's gonna be a bright 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 sunshiny day it's gonna be such a bright such a bright sunshiny day I can see clearly now I can see clearly now Oh, one more round of applause. It's New Year's. Thank you, Rachel. Good morning, Unity on Greenville. And for my fellow like cold people who are here <laughs> and for all of you online and for those who are yet to come whether it's watching online or entering the sanctuary my name is reverend veronica Baez, and i'm deeply grateful and honored to be here in support of you and to bring in the new year so i'm going to read a little something i found on the internet before we talk about what we're going to do today may your coming year be filled with magic and dreams and good madness I hope you read some fine books and kiss someone who thinks you're wonderful. And don't forget to make some art. Write or draw or build or sing or live as only you can. And I hope, I affirm, somewhere in the next year, you surprise yourself. Delightful surprises, as a friend of mine said to me yesterday. So new year new you every moment. So we are going to have a release and a reveal ritual with a little bit of talk. So I will first guide us in just a little bit about the release and then we'll do a two to three minute meditation and then I'll guide you into writing that which you're seeking to release on the little piece of paper that we will individually and I will guide you through the process come up one at a time, two candles to burn. And for those of you who are sitting or online, now online, um, I'm not liable if you do something at home. <laughs> so if you're going to burn at home, be very mindful uh, that you have the candle and something to, like, to put the flame out. But it's the release part that it's a beautiful ritual because fire purifies. And then we're going to have the reveal. And once again, I'll speak just a little bit and then guide you into meditation. And then with the reveal, there's an envelope for those who are here that you're going to actually write whatever arises in your meditation for your reveal for 2022. And you're gonna address it to yourself and you're going to seal it and then I'm gonna guide you, there is a box in the back because we're gonna come to release but then we're gonna send that energy out into the world. And then I'm gonna pray it up. And then the box will be in the prayer room, Reverend Karen's uh, office where it will be prayed on. I will hold the intentions for you, but this will be mailed to you at the end of next year, which is a beautiful, beautiful ritual. So we begin with release. And I'm reminded of my nephew, Vincent, who's now 21. But when he turned seven, my sister said he woke up and he was so upset. And she's like, Vincent, what's wrong? He goes, 
it's my birthday. I'm seven, but I still look six. <laughs> and, he, and he thought for sure he would like grow overnight to be that, you know, you know, two, ten inches taller at seven. And so it's that invitation that it is a new year, it is a new day, and every moment is a new breath of life. And that as we move through the release, that we remember there's always divine timing. There's perfect order in the universe. And that sometimes we want it, we want it now uh, with our expectations. And especially that all that we've been through individually and collectively these last two years with the pandemic, that when we get to the reveal part, don't be too expectant of yourself, meaning be gentle. Like maybe it's just like, I'm just gonna like, just maybe have a little bit more gratitude this year. But we'll talk about that in reveal. But the, for the release, it is a process of letting go. But it's also a process of like honoring maybe something that's complete that you want to release. Maybe it's releasing stories that you've held on for quite some time and through your spiritual practice and work you realize that no longer serves me. Kind of like clothes. My clothes before the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> they no longer serve me now. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, well, my clothes don't fit. So in a humorous way, think about that as the energy. Yeah, that belief doesn't fit anymore. That habit doesn't serve who I am and who I am becoming. Um, and to do with love and kindness, that we don't want to release an anger because that's not the energy that you're trying to transmute. We're releasing with this moment brought me into the awareness that I am complete with whether it's an idea, a belief, or maybe it's something positive. I've, re I've finished my book. I need to release that into the world knowing spirit will take it. And so when we go into the meditation, the invitation is to whatever arises. And, and I'm not talking because there's been a lot of, you know, challenges during this pandemic and trauma and loss. I'm not asking you to let go of a process, because grief has its own time. I'm inviting you, though, just a, lot, a little loving kindness that you kind of like, well, you know, I've been saying for years that's too hard, and I'm, I'm ready to let go of that idea. Or that belief that my, chronicolo my chronological age, we were talking about this earlier, stops me from, you know, what I want to be in this world and even achieve on a certain level. Any race consciousness, false beliefs that constrains us. And just to acknowledge that the shifts in consciousness is how we arrive to that release with love and kindness. Thank you for the opportunity to have clarity, to see where I didn't believe in myself, because I do now. Thank you for the awareness that I stay too long in situations because I think they're comfortable, but they're really uncomfortable. I release that constraint now. Thank you for that lesson. Don't need it again. <laughs> and be mindful and kind in your release as we just move into a brief meditation. So I invite you to close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And as you let go, just allow yourself with every breath just to be present to the whispers of your heart, to listen. What is seeking to be released now? Where am I complete with a pattern or a habit? What am I willing with love and kindness to let go. And just for a few minutes until I bring you back into the room, just be in the quiet and the stillness of what you are going to release and then I will guide you into the writing process.
our life moves in circles. The earth dances around the sun in a circle. The moon dances around the earth in a circle. That which is seeking to be released is a completion of a circle. So the invitation is that when you are ready, simply take the sheet of paper in the envelope and write what you're seeking to release. And then I will invite you up in just a moment. And when you are ready, mindfully come up to a candle and just allow it to be lovingly released as the rest of us hold you in that beautiful sacred space of wholeness. So one at a time, we have two candles when you are ready to release. Let the spirit from my life in my heart it overflows cause I'm only here for God no more struggles no more strife through faith I see the light I am free in the spirit I'm only here for God. Ooh, I release, I let go. I'm free, I'm free in the spirit. I release and I. Let go. I let go. Yeah, I release and I let go. I let the spirit run my life and my heart. It overflows because I'm only here. God, no more struggle, no more strife. Through his faith, I see the light. I'm free in the spirit. I'm only here for God. I release, I let go. I let the spirit run my life. I am free, I am free. I am free. I release, I let go. I 
let the spirit run my life. Mm -hmm. I'm only here for God. I release, I release, I release, I release, I let go. Deep exhale. Oh, yeah. A little lighter, a little brighter. It's time to reveal. It's time to dream into being your intentions for 2022. I'm going to read this from Sadhvi Bhagavati Saraswati, who was at the Parliament of the World's Religions. She's in India an American who went over there and is an amazing spiritual teacher and says exactly what's necessary for the new vision because we're calling in a new vision for 2022. We've released, we've let go. Don't need to think about that anymore. Done. She says, when we pray, both our inner and our outer circumstances change. Now, this is not because somehow a magic wand has come and changed our outer circumstances, but because through true prayer, deep prayer, our connection to God is strengthened. And through our connection with God, our own mind has changed. Then, since our mind has changed, our experience, and therefore our reality has changed. We are creating our realities. When you have a situation that you want to be different, the answer is neither to just accept it nor is the answer to pray God to change the external situation. The answer is to pray to God for such a depth of connection, of awareness, for such a depth and truth of experience of who we are that our vision changes. Thus our vision changes, so our mind changes. As our mind changes, so do our circumstances. Breathe that in. It is what is said in Romans 12 too, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So when we are aligning in what we're seeking to reveal in 2022, we understand that we are the space and the sacred place from that one power and presence that we call God reveals itself in through and as our life. When we change our mind but drop into our heart and connect to that awareness that we're never disconnected from that which is greater, we tune in. So we're attuning to what is seeking to reveal itself. Now, most people want to do to-do list, and I have that also, all right? That's the human like, hey, would like to fit into my size six pants again. <laughs> That's a very human intention, all right? But if I'm really coming from the consciousness of the one mind, Perfect health, vitality, and strength expresses in through and as my body. My body, every cell, tissue, and organ is in perfect alignment, but the word would be health. If my intention is for greater abundance, then I know that the abundance of God is revealing itself in every detail of my life, from my breath to the butterflies that arrive in spring to all the leaves that I've let go. I see abundance everywhere, but I'm, I'm aligning inside out. But I can put wealth as my word. See, when we understand that spirit seeks to live and move and have its being as us, then our intentions are a revelation of the divine for 2022. And it manifests individually in our lives, greater health, greater joy, greater love, greater connections, deepening with others, Collectively, we also set the intention for health, wealth, wholeness for all. But when we align in that deep stillness and listen to the voice of that which is our soul's just energy seeking to reveal itself, that's the revelation I'm inviting you to write in. We will have 
the materialistic demonstrations because that's how the law works. But we align in the attributes of God that seek and reveal in each circumstance. Whether it's harmony in my mind and my heart, harmony in the world, peace in my mind and my heart, peace in the world. That what you're seeking to reveal already is so in the mind of God. And your individual incarnation is seeking to reveal it now. My dear friend, Sarah, uh, we do voice messages, and she did this great voice message yesterday, and she says, um, let me see if I can find my quote, looking forward to a bright, shiny new year, because I say so. And she said it with that, because I say so. So we're going to affirm that with expectancy, conviction, understanding and consciousness, recognizing the good that is God because I say so. Not the I that is the ego, but the I am that is the divine. Because why would spirit want to express anything less than its magnificence as you? For these next few minutes, we're going to sit in some meditation, and you're going to listen and then write. Um, and when you are done writing... The invitation will be then, we're going to walk it out. But you're not leaving. I mean, with not my mask. But you're going to walk it to the box back here. And then I'm going to go back there and pray it up for us. Now, here's the other thing. When we collectively have written that, and you at home, as each person one at a time walks it to the box, in our hearts and our minds, when that person drops it in, you can say, and so it is. Because not only are we going to know it for ourselves, we're going to know it collectively. Because when two or more are gathered, the energy amplifies, love amplifies and purifies, and we're going to know for each one of us that these intentions that are in our heart and our minds are made manifest just by the very way that the universe operates. Because that universal presence is love, and the universal law, that aspect of the divine that receives that word is like, yes, honey, <laughs> yes, honey, it's yours. So take a moment and close your eyes. And for a few minutes, just drop into your heart. What delightful surprise are you willing to receive? Listen. Listen. And as it arrives, then allow yourself to ride it. The word declares to be heard, but also when we put it in writing, we physically put our energy into that intention. And then make sure you put your name and your address on the envelope and seal it. And then, when I feel everybody's ready, we will do the dropping off at the God box. So when you are ready, one at a time, 
Now, if you're in the back, I'm going to actually ask you to walk around and come this way, and you're going to walk your intentions into what I call the God box and just leave it standing there. And when you're ready, you can mindfully bring it to the front. We will know with each intention that it is already so in great celebration of these demonstrations.
And so I invite you in the sanctuary to turn. And for those online, we're going to hold your intentions too, that right here, right now, that all that has been declared, all that has been written, all that we know that is God is already revealing in each one of these demonstrations. How beautiful to be so aware that each expression of God that is here in the sanctuary, here online, or whenever you receive this word, to know that you are held in the arms of love, that together and collectively, individually and for the world, we know that this word is made manifest, that these blessings are already received, that the light of the one life that I call God indeed is revealing itself. It's taken to our hearts these prayers. We celebrate with the joy of 2022 being the year of the year of most incredible love, joy, prosperity, health, and wholeness that each one of us by divine right action and order, by our very inheritance as the light made manifest, are demonstrating all of this and that when we walk into the world we are that revelation of love we are that revelation of prosperity we are that manifestation of good and I speak my word into this moment knowing that unity on Greenville not only is prosperous in body mind and soul but that minister that light that seeks to reveal their God love in this sacred space makes their way here sooner than later we know that there's divine timing and perfect timing but I bless all all these intentions. I bless unity on Greenville. I bless all who are here, all who are yet to come, all who are online, that each one is that integral light of God, that circle of joy, that peace that knows no human understanding in the world. So this space is blessed. Those intentions are blessed. Everyone is blessed. And all that is seeking to reveal, reveals in the allness that is God and the love that is God and the joy that is God so when we leave we dance in our God groove out that door and into the world knowing that this is already so that we don't have to worry about it. it is already so and as I know that this in the mind of God is already made manifest I breathe in oh such gratitude and as I release and let go the word into that universal law, the law that simply says, yes. Not only do we celebrate this new day, this new year, we celebrate every yes demonstrated as our good. And if you're willing and if you're ready, affirm this with me by saying, and so it is. We're going to laugh a lot, we're going to dance a lot, we got a lot of living to do. We're going to make it, we're going to shake it, let go of those hard times too. We're going to ride on the ocean wave, splash and play our sunny day. We're going to go far here. We're going to make a be light till everything is fine. We're going to fly in a turquoise sky. We've got a lot of sights to see. We're going to understand, giving a helping hand. Love one another till we set us all free. We're gonna do it when times are up. Get up, show up when the going gets tough. We're gonna roll with it. We're gonna get there in time till everything is fine. Till the darkest clouds have lifted in the sky. Till the raging waters have rolled on by, they've rolled on by, they've rolled on by. We're gonna cruise and we'll lose our blues. We'll grab our Sunday morning smile. Listen to that inner truth. Rain in a new year. 
year with unity style We're gonna give to humanity Blend in and make a new world, you see We're gonna go for it We're gonna make a bit of life To live everything is fine To live everything is fine hard to follow. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Here at Unity on Greenville, we have a vision statement. It's on the screen. We'd like to recite it, um, if you will, with me. We see a world where every being lives in awareness. We see a world where every being lives in awareness of their sacred oneness and divine light. We also have an affirmation for our youth. It's on the screen. We'd like to share this with our youth that are uh, still with us online, virtually. We, we as Unity on Greenville, Greenville claim the truth for our youth. We, we teach, teach principles, principles to empower each child and teen to fulfill their divine potential. potential. Through, Through fellowship, fellowship, love, prayer, prayer and meditation, meditation they, they connect, connect with, with each, each other and our world. We have an affirmation for our minister that we're... Uh, we know is out there looking for us as we look for them. So if you'll say this affirmation with me as well. We welcome and affirm with love the perfect spiritual leader who embraces the truth of unity principle. And now the daily word. The word for the day is clarity. The affirmation is time spent communing with God gives me clarity. When I gaze toward the heavens on a moonlit night, I, see, I expect to see twinkling stars and constellations. But if I use a telescope, I can see details with much greater clarity. This example could describe my spiritual life as well. I may go a day, all day mindful of my blissful feelings and kinship with all the people. These things and more are the fruits of my faith. But I find clarity during times of intentional contemplation when I meditate upon the truth I feel the presence of God fill my consciousness and touch my heart. This clarity informs my thoughts, words, and actions, bringing my faith to a vivid light. Scripture for the day is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. 1 Corinthians, the word is clarity. And our affirmation, say it with me, time spent communing with God gives me clarity. Now the peace song. Yes, there is peace on earth. I know it begins in me. Yes, there is peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be with God, our Creator, united all of we, and now we walk with each other in perfect harmony. Ah, oh, yes, there is peace on earth, for this is the moment now. With every step I take, I make this my joyous vow. Gonna make each moment, take each moment in peace. Eternally, yes, there is peace on earth, and I know it begins in me.
with the flow. We walk with joy and gratitude. Many blessings, unity on Greenville, 2022, the sacred holy yes. So as you walk out, just bless the box one more time and know that you're held in the arms of love. And then Wesley's going to do prayer of protection. Prayer of protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever, Wherever we, we are, are God, God is, is, and all is well. I release, I let go. So we, I let the Spirit run my life, and my heart is open wide, and I'm only here for God. No more struggle, no more strife. With my faith, I see the light. I am free. I am free in the spirit, y'all. And I'm only here for God. My daughter, release, let go, and let the spirit.